What's going on this evening? It's Barrett with the Porta Keeper channel. Welcome to our channel. Uh, I got a mail call today. It's one of these Kaleido, I believe that's how you say it, roasters. It's the M1 roaster. I wanted to do an unboxing because I'm just dying to open this. I got it while I was at work today and it's just sat there for quite a few hours. Uh, you can tell it came in like a nice um, wooden box. I know that some of the new rocket machines are they're shipping their premium machines in like a wooden crate so it's kind of cool getting a crate uh, I got a pry bar out and just had it handy we'll see how I kind of started prying on it a little bit it kind of has like some hinges but they don't seem to really be attached to anything there's like a clasp in the front too that doesn't really seem to be hooked to anything. So make sure you have a good hammer or a pry bar if you get one of these, I guess. I'm trying to be careful just to preserve the box because I am going to take this home. I'm not going to roast here. I can't really roast at my workspace just because of the smoke. I can't smoke up the whole building. Almost, okay. So, pried that lid off. We have a cardboard box on the inside. And I might just set this on the ground and pull out the main roaster. Okay, I got this box just sitting on the stool. We'll give you a quick peek of inside the box. Has some nice foam. I believe Joe might have used this one before, so it's not a brand new one. This is from Espresso Outlet. It's a brand that he's wanting to pick up. Uh, let's start pulling some stuff out. Got the power cord. And it looks like this the main event right after. Some tools. Some Allen keys. And there's a nice lifting handle on top. You can just pull the entire roaster out. Something else. A little bean catcher. I think that's everything out of the, the crate. Let's set this aside. Okay, let's just take a look at this roaster first. It's a nice size, really, especially for like a home roaster, which is really what it's designed for. Nice high-end home roaster that's not going to break the bank, and it's just not insanely large either. So there's the first look at it. It looks really cool. Oop, about my camera. And right next to it, I have the Turin DF80 or DF64E and my Rocket. This is the Giotto version. It's not the one they sell today. So you can tell it's really not that big. I'm kind of surprised at how small it is. But it really does pack a punch. Um, it has USB. A little bit surprised just off the bat that this is like permanently connected to the roaster so you might be able to unplug it on the inside but it's pretty much permanently attached so be careful with that when you're unboxing it uh, your power cord it's removable has your standard kind of like computer technology like computer monitor desktop computer type plug um, nice heavy power cord make sure that you use the supplied power cord because they do have different ratings let's open this up oh the display so this is what I think really makes this a really cool device 
I mean, it comes with a touch screen, I believe it's touch screen display, and runs the Artisan software, I believe. So, I haven't really done a whole lot of investigating into this. I looked at it a while back, and just really haven't looked into it much more past that, other than it looks like a really capable roaster, and we're going to try it out. Uh, like I mentioned, it's probably going to be at my house, where it can be a little bit more smoky. Well, let's flip this around and we have our little catcher right here. I'm assuming this is to catch the beans after the roast. So this fits in the front like so. Um, has a door kind of like I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better kind of like an industrial roaster where they have the big flapper and it'll dump all the beans out so you have your little chute it opens and closes and it might still be in a bag somewhere but there should be a little probe to pull out beans and you can test about how roasted they are you can also see through the glass window the beans turning so so I have no idea how any of this works okay this is pretty cool you put your beans in here and I'm just going to detach this it'll be much easier so you put your beans your green beans in here when you lift it up they go into the roasting chamber so that's really cool really nice this is like nice stainless steel okay I just played around with it a little bit more uh, not much else to show you, but I did plug it in real quick and let's flip it on and see what happens. Okay, so it's loading. And there is the specific Kaleido Artisan software. I did take a peek on the back side and you can remove this usb it actually has really easy access to all the electronics and heating element and stuff like that if you ever need to get to it hopefully you don't need to get to it but that's just the m1 roaster in a quick unboxing nutshell i did ask joe at espresso outlet he said he took this out for some pictures and he has that part so he'll send that over to me normally it wouldn't be an open box like this but this has never been used so we're going to give it a try, hopefully over the weekend. We might try it without this and just kind of stop it up with some foil or something just to try it out, see see how things work. I probably won't shoot any videos, but I'm wanting to play with it and learn a little bit about it. I've used a Gene Cafe in the past. I've never really done any YouTube videos on it. I might have to do a little side-by-side -side between these two. I think the cool thing about this is the Gene Cafe it's a really cool roaster, but you're really, you're getting a lot of surface area on the outside of the roast chamber, which is glass. Where this, it actually has a nice little cage, just like a commercial roaster. So there's your chafe catcher. So it's really kind of a miniature professional roaster, at least from the way that it's designed so I'm really excited to give it a try uh, I've been looking at it for a little while but haven't really researched a whole lot I like to just keep an open mind when I go into reviewing a product uh, I want to know really without any bias am I gonna like it or not and should you like it so some of the features that I've noticed right away uh, there's a fan down here and it goes into your little bean catcher so it's gonna blow and cool your beans as soon as you dump them it has this little bean dump and it has kind of like a ball bearing in there to hold this shut which is really nice kind of tactile feel and then it has magnets to hold it open so it'll stay completely open as it spins uh, it has your which is missing the the i don't even know what they call it it's a little probe that you can like catch a bean you can pull it out and look at the color so that you can see the profile that you're roasting to uh, has a little bean dump over here 
we spin it around. We have a nice exhaust port in the back. As well as it comes with this little tablet display. So, I mean, it's really dang slick. I'm really excited to give it a try. Um, we're going to be learning this one together, I guess, because I've not used any of that artisan software. I've always just gone off of times and just appearance of the beans and listening to the crack. So should be really cool to profile. I know a couple of roasters, they use this software, so I'll probably reach out to them, but really excited to give this a try. Thanks for watching.